Okay, so let's play a little bit further with Terraform and we're going to start by creating some outputs to our uh, set of resources. So the output basically allows you to export some variables, some objects, to uh, the Terraform state that you can then reuse and leverage in some other context. So here I'm going to set three output variables for the three things that I created inside this script, which is basically a network security group, a VNet, and a resource group. So I'm going to create them uh, as such as I have here the resource and then by the name of the object. So the resource is called Azure RM resource group dot uh, my resource group. So same thing for the other object. My uh, basically virtual network is called Azure RM virtual network dot Terraform, my Terraform network. So here I could export some attribute of it, but I just want to export the whole object so that I don't have to worry about what's there. So if I save and if I do Terraform apply, then basically I will have now in the output the value that's going to be showed to me and then I can reuse that directly inside the Terraform state. So you see I'm running the script and you see that at the end I've seen all those outputs that have been uh, exported for me. So I have this available. But when we mean the Terraform state, uh, what is it exactly? So you may have noticed that here you have a file called Terraform state where you have exactly what we just mentioned, the outputs. So all those objects that are created, they are actually available in my Terraform state for me to reuse in, for instance, some other module. So that's kind of the public part of my Terraform state. Uh, there's kind of a private part, which I don't want to touch, I don't want to mess with, and I don't have access to it. Um, it's basically those uh, set of resources. So here, that's just a description of whatever I deployed. So we can see that we have a Terraform state which can be local. We can also have a Terraform state which is stored remotely. And that's very important. When you have an enterprise grade type of deployment, you can deploy your Terraform state onto Azure itself so that you can have a shared utilization of it and a lock. So when someone is using it, then you cannot make modification of it. So those are the different ways to uh, access to the remote state. I'm creating a remote state.tf here, and I'm putting some parameters. I'm setting that I want to use the backend on Azure RM. That's the name of my storage account. That's the name of my container inside the storage account. And here you can see that I'm going to use a file called tfstat demo webinar, which is now empty. And I'm going to do a Terraform init. That's important. I need to initialize the backend. Here, these guys see that this backend has not been remote uh, yet. It's still locally. So it's asking me if I want to export it. And I say yes. And you can see that if I now go back to my storage explorer, I'm able to see that the TF state is now stored remotely. So I have migrated my Terraform state. And if I see the local one, it's now uh, empty. I have the backup, which is still there. I can delete those files. I don't need them as it's now on my storage account. So if I do a Terraform apply, you'll see that now it's going to read the state uh, remotely. And if I do a destroy, same thing is going to be those operations and managing my Terraform state remotely without any issue. So you see that what I'm doing this operation, there's a lock on it. So no one else can uh, modify uh, the lock and do some operations with this uh, Terraform state right now. 